Well, I know I've talked about Sony and the PlayStation 5, Square Enix, and all these other fun things uh, going on in the world of the games industry. And, uh, you know, Stellar Blade, the game that seems to be upholding the PS5 right now as their number one title. But we've really got to take a good look at what's actually going on in the market. When we look over in the Japanese market, their sales numbers have come out. And just by adding up a few numbers, you sit there and go, wow, this is really the, the hole that PlayStation or Sony does find themselves in. And how do they claw themselves out? Well, it looks like they've really pushed forward with Helldivers 2 and Ghost of Tsushima on Steam release, just propping up their value over the last few years, over the last year here, uh, with extra games coming out there. But then you gotta wonder what happened with Square Enix. Is Square Enix actually for sale or something going on? You know, these rumors keep swirling and you gotta really look at the dates when you go back and you see, oh, this one's from two years ago, the, the PlayStation 6 rumors coming out from job postings, but what actually is happening in the market? Let's take a closer look at what I'm talking about. So the sales numbers over in Japan came out this week and things are, you know, it's interesting to really look at these sales numbers. And, uh, you know, last time I looked at something like this, everyone got upset because it was about Baldur's Gate 3. But this time, this time we're going to compare Nintendo to PlayStation or Sony in this case. Is that all right? We got that? The ground rules are set. Uh, Fatsima sales for 5.26.24 to 5.12.24. Stellar Blade returns to number one. They published the estimated physical, physical, not digital, uh, game software for Japan for the week of May 6th to May 12th. Stellar Blade for the PlayStation 5 was uh, the highest selling title this week, moving an additional 13,000 retail copies. It was followed by Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch, which moved an additional 9,000 copies. Also, the Switch comes preloaded on most, uh, or the Switch, the Mario Kart 8 now in general comes preloaded. I don't believe it's the Deluxe though. On the hardware side of things, the Switch sold 47,000 units, the PlayStation 5 sold 21,000 units, the Xbox sold 4,000 units, and recently because of the Call of Duty announcement for it coming to Game Pass, the Xbox sales have gone through the roof. And of course, the PlayStation 4 is still selling 80 units in the time frame. So if you look on here, you, you just see general stuff, but Stellar Blade has only had 80 thousand copies total the ones in brackets are lifetime sales Eighty thousand copies sold total in japan that's not really that good when you think about it uh because if you scroll down here at the bottom the playstation 5 has sold almost 5 million copies in japan and if only 80 thousand are being sold that's a very small amount for the for the systems that are available and this is what i mean when i talk about how sony has completely screwed people over for the exclusivity to their system if you look at the switch sales numbers over in japan this is japan seven million oleds the upgraded switch Another almost 6 million of the Switch Lite, which is just the handheld version. And the Switch alone at 19 million copies. When you add this all up, it's almost 32 million. It's actually more than 32 million copies of the Switch. When you have the PlayStation 5 at 5 million, plus another 700,000 of the digital edition. I don't know what the digital edition is, but either way, this is under 6 million copies. You're talking a marketplace where there is six million versions of the PlayStation 5 compared to 32 million of the Nintendo Switch. That right there shows the exclusivity for Sony does not work and why they are branching out solely just to be able to make it into the marketplace. Nintendo, because they've been marketed as a family system, a living room staple at this point, they sell everywhere. 
everyone buys up everything from Nintendo. People can't get enough of Mario themselves. Look at the Super Mario movie. It did a billion dollars with only a hundred million dollar budget where things should be. The evaluation of these games and these movies really should be. If you go back up, you look at this list and you go Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch in the top 19. The top 19 and then 20th is Rise of Ronin for the PS5. PS Sony has two games on the top 20 in Japan right now. And this is what I mean, they are a sinking ship if they're not able to do their marketing in their base model. And this is why you see a lot of rhetoric over here on the Western side of things where all oh, they're doing everything so great and the marketing is over here because they don't have a market cap in Japan anymore. They, their market cap is so limited, it's not even there. And where where's the Xbox titles? Well, all the Xbox titles now being encompassed in the Game Pass, those numbers just kind of get hidden. You never will know what they are. Even though they said Starfield sold like 10 million copies in the first little bit, you never really will know because now they're hidden behind a paywall of the Game Pass. And let's, let's take a look at this a little bit further. You look down here at the bottom of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, sells 300,000 copies in Japan on 6 million copy models of the PlayStation 5. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible, right? I, I believe they've sold something like 2.5 million worldwide, but if they can't branch out to something more like Steam and make these games come out on a multi-platform, Sony is done. They are in serious trouble in the marketplace where you when you look at the nintendo switch they're selling millions of copies of everything like pokemon scarlet and pokemon they're they're selling five million copies but you know not everything does well you got demon slayer selling nineteen thousand copies well they only sold two thousand copies uh for a game that's obviously not doing that well but they've been they blanketed the board the complete board is nintendo right now everywhere across the board there and they're selling millions of copies of games and this is where sony has completely fallen off they've gone into the western market and went okay what what's going to sell in the western market instead of the home market like japan what they they're no longer marketed as a system that's going to do well in in their own state in their own place where their gaming system is out there everyone likes nintendo because they have a plethora of games right now when these consoles first came out i remember when the playstation 1 first came out and we had the disc the demo disc that came with them uh where you could get the magazine and the, it came with the demo disc that was what we played for a long the longest time because a lot of these games were coming soon or they were in development and we sat there on the playstation one just playing the games that we could find because there wasn't very many of them once again and now when you look at the nintendo switch the nintendo even back then the super nintendo and the nintendo 64 they were expansive games there was giant amount of games that you play ocarina of time a absolute classic for the nintendo 64 it was a game that you could spend hours upon hours upon and it had re-releases it had gold cartridges it had specialty versions of the games getting re-released coming out on the gamecube as well and it, it, it was a different the console wars are completely different now nintendo still keeping their stuff proprietary and still selling the system as a family model system has really taken the market by storm where the playstation 5 they've marketed for blockbuster titles it is the one thing where blockbusters always go to the playstation 5 but that is failing that is not working out for anybody right now what did spider-man do they're not even on this list <laughs> no one even knows it exists in japan right now that's how poorly a lot of their titles are doing. And it's surprisingly enough to see Stellar Blade at the top here at 80,000 copies. And they're only at the top because they sold 13,000 copies in this particular week. But 80,000 copies for Stellar Blade in Japan, that's not Boeing well for the PlayStation 5. Now, some extra thoughts on this. Yes, these are physical copies, but your PlayStation 5 only holds a database or a, a amount of data they only what do they come with a 500 gigabyte 
hard drive right now and the nintendo switch yes they're each a cartridge that comes with it and then you're able to uh put it on there but they also do support digital download but when you look at the cartridges when you look at the different method nintendo is just they're raking in all the money they've had bonuses they've had increased sales for the nintendo as a brand overall where sony is laying people off through the whole market that's the differences right now and why sony is really needing to make a push into the digital space into steam because they've lost the proprietary for their model they've lost it and the exclusives like square enix with final fantasy 7 and final fantasy 16 they did not perform as well as that they expected mostly because they just don't have the market space. Yes, the PlayStation has 50 million copies worldwide. Well, now you only get so many people buying so many games for the system they can play it on. So the Nintendo Switch has been everywhere. Hell, I have one. <laughs> That's how far reaching the Nintendo Switch has really become. And they've flooded the market. It is an easy console to get and the PlayStation 5 is not it's overpriced and that's where sony really is failing all these developers and why we see square enix really falling off also to note square enix i i, I completely forgot they made forsaken that an absolute abysmal game that they threw money at to waste money at so you know it's part of this does fall on square enix with their choices but going exclusive with sony was the bad choice in that matter anyway thanks for watching i'm your talking Canadian phoenix center shadow I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.